Well, I can't believe that the best day of my life is already here. I'm standing here staring at you in that white dress. You're not just my best friend, you're my love. You're truly the love of my life and I will treasure, care for you, and cheer you on every day from now on until my last. You make me laugh no matter how hard life gets. You love me despite my imperfections. You've shown me the love of Christ with your patience, steadfastness, and forgiveness. I promise to be there for you no matter what life throws at us, and to be there to comfort you when life is too much to bear. I've never seen Davis happier than, than he is with you, Hannah. I can't think of a better person to take care of our best friend. We know he's a lot of work. I'm so thankful to call you my best friends, and I wish you nothing but the best as you start your new life together. I'm just really thankful that I have you two, that you came into my life, and you two are just going to be so happy together. I've never seen Hannah happier than when she's with you. You see, your purpose in marriage is not for you to be happy, but God put you in it to make her happy. And God put him, or put you in it to make him happy. Hannah was born, I remember looking at that little warming bed with a cute little pink baby that was, that was laying there in front of me, just staring at her thinking, you know, I've, I've only known her for, you know, a physical world other than talking to her through the belly, but, you know, I've only known her for minutes, and I feel such a strong bond. I thought, wow, I would, I would happily give up my life for this child if I needed to. Mr. and Mrs. until they become doctor and doctor. Davis, Wyatt, and don't forget to floss on your honeymoon. Make this the bride. I'll end by saying I'm so excited for us. Life has been unbelievably good so far, but it's about to get so much better. Love you forever and always. Forever yours, Davis. I can't wait to marry you, my love. See you soon. Love your bride.